I understand the question. Many of the Chief Justices of India have asked me, why is it that you allow this campus recruitment and let them be taken away by these corporates or law firms? Well, the choice is theirs. Uh, I am happy to say a small percentage of students refuse to go for this campus recruitment and are joining NGOs or starting their own practice in the district towns. I encourage them. Uh, there are difficulties, as you know, to start. I myself know as to how I started in 56, I told you. Uh, no, we have to develop a model and there must be a support from the Bar Council and the government to enable bright young lawyers to set up their own offices in district towns. I have a model in mind, a lawyer's cooperative or a lawyer's collective. Uh, I recommend it. Uh, in many places and even drafted a partnership deed for like-minded young law graduates to be able to set up practice. Now bank loans are available. And I said that I will contact senior advocates and give them work. You know, it may be research and drafting or something like that so that they have some regular income. Then you have to work in the villages. You must understand social reality and must be able to come up slowly. Well, that may happen, but I would say your question of becoming social engineers, even when they work in a law firm, I would imagine that they are advising the corporates to use law in a sustainable manner. To, uh, to of course, business uh, have to have their returns, but I should think that these students are assisting them to uh, do corporation, uh, corporate activity with social responsibility. So therefore, you cannot say that when they work with the corporate office, they are not social engineers. Wherever they work, they will uh, work responsibly. That is the part of education that I think I have given them. Do we have sustainable pool of faculty for all? I know at present, I, I do think that we do not have inadequate numbers, uh, quality teachers. Uh, there is a, a reform proposal from the Honorable Law Minister Virappa Moili uh, to uh, improve the quality of LLM education with a view to prepare teachers for the, uh, the integrated law education, clinical education and things. I, I am in that process. I, I in the Menon Institute, gives continuing education for law teachers. And we try to prepare them how to teach ethics, how to teach different skills, how to teach lawyers, preparing them for mediation, arbitration, and other ADR systems. So that the entire focus on litigation and corporate work is diverted to other socially relevant techniques of uh, legal services. I think it's an agenda which the government of India has already taken up. In association with law schools, I think we will have a steady supply of good teachers who will be able to take it forward. Hopeful of that. Now the conditions of service of teachers have considerably improved. And the professor gets about a lack of rupees, I am told. Though I started off with 650 rupees. That's a different story.